the angle that I have from this trail forearm and the shaft, mm -hmm. I'm going to maintain that because of a slow rate of rotation in the ribs. So now when I do that slowly, I've got way more lean in the shaft than I would if this is rotating with a heck of a lot more speed or energy, throw. and it throws all the energy out through the arms through the golf club again. Center so, of mass above, so I'm going to move close, ball back, and yeah. smooth rate of rotation energy. so you can hold the load. And that golf ball came out at like eight degrees. Hey guys, back out here today with Elite and Riley, and we are talking about trajectory today. Traj, baby. And you mentioned Traj. that there's four main ways that you see people control trajectory. So let's walk through those and yep. demonstrate them. Absolutely. Well, why don't we start with this? Why don't you hit some balls here, Milo? Oh, you want to see me do it? Oh, yeah. So let's just go stock to start. Okay, okay. so let's just go straight stock so we're gonna out go shot. A straight stock shot. Just stock shot, like a range swing right here. Nothing crazy. Awesome. Okay, now, first way. Let's go ahead and set up to it again, just like, like you normally would for a stalker. So the first mm -hmm. thing that we're going to do is get your belly button or just your general center of mass closer or more up on top of the golf ball. Good. And yes. a lot of players will then have to choke out, choke it up to go ahead yep. and create. There you go. Perfect. So let's go ahead and hit another one from right there. So generally speaking, if the center of mass in our body gets more over the top of the golf ball, it stands the shaft up more. Yeah. So now we're on a steeper plane. And I use that a lot in chipping. If I want to hit more of a low yeah. runner, I move really close, get the ball close to my feet. Perfect. That's a great Same way idea. to do it. Exactly. Okay. So as, we're, as long as we're going on this low type of look, and now let's go ahead and put the golf ball just one ball length back of your center. There you go. Just Perfect. A little and farther back. Yep. Exactly. Same swing. There we go. Now, doing that, you were saying before how you don't really like to do that and why. Because it makes the ball hook. Makes the ball hook. Why does it make the ball hook? Because my pass more into out because I'm hitting more down. Exactly. And yeah, so it steepens up your angle of attack yeah. as well. So just things to be warned about as well. Okay, now the next one, just general rate of energy. Yeah, so, so right there. Mm -hmm. Slow things down, the ball is going to come out lower. That's exactly right. So let's see one that just has tempo down just slightly. Beautiful. So the ball came down slightly. Yeah. Okay. Now, what club do you have? Seven iron. Okay. This is a really complex one. There's a six iron for you. Low rate of energy as well. <laughs> so now I need to lower the rate of energy to hit it the distance that that one's supposed there to There you go. Exactly. Yeah. That's a way to do it. Exactly. Now, what is like, I think that's a really important piece too, because when folks are playing in wind, I see it a lot when I'm coaching somebody on the golf course that if it's blowing even, you know, five miles an hour, it's nothing. What they're trying to do is juice it up more to fight the wind and get it through the wind. And in reality, what that does is it puts more spin on the golf ball, makes that wind affect that ball more. Exactly. And they just come up either shorter or more sideways. 100%, right? Or I'll see this too, where somebody has hit it in a position where they have to flatten it out, like there's a tree limb or a cactus limb here in Arizona. Mm -hmm and they have to hit it underneath it. And all they try to do is still take the same club and just shove the handle forward. And it's still gonna unload because you have so much energy in it. So yeah. what do they end up doing? Just throwing it straight into the tree or into the cactus. Yeah. So it's really important to just understand generally to control your golf ball, you need to understand how to do it using these different methods, right? Rather than just trying to affect the golf ball with the same golf club. Yeah. That's hugely important. So which ones have we gone through so far? We moved closer to the ball. Center of mass closer. Yep. Ball position back. Ball position farther back. Yep. Less energy. Less energy. Now this is really interesting as well. We'll stop on that one for just a second because we hear about this with driver a lot. We want the ball to launch high and spin low. Mm -hmm. Well, with wedges, we want it to launch low and spin high. Well, if you go at a wedge hard, that golf ball is going to jump. It usually jumps high. And it knuckles. Yep. Knuckling meaning that it doesn't have as Not much as spin much on spin. it. Not as much spin. So what's interesting is you can actually have, especially on wedges, lower swing speed and hit the golf ball further than somebody that has higher swing speed. Because you use flatter trajectory. Because you use flatter trajectory and still granted that the ball comes out of the middle of the face. Mm -hmm. But in essence, we're, mo we're changing the dynamic loft of the golf club. Mm -hmm. So somebody that has, say, a swing speed of 80 miles an hour on a sand wedge, and that golf ball goes, say, 90 yards, 
and somebody that comes in with a 75 mile an hour golf or, or swing speed can hit that golf ball even further than that, mm -hmm. which is really interesting. And that's kind of a mind trip, right? But you're changing yeah. the dynamic loft. It's all about dynamic loft. Exactly. So one thing too, on that note is how much energy your ribs have, meaning the rate of rotation that they have or the energy level that they have mm -hmm. is going to transmit that energy into the arms, into the hands, and then obviously into the golf club. The more energy the ribs have here, the more it's going to shoot the energy out of the golf club. And now we have higher loft, higher, higher trash, mm -hmm. higher vertical launch, right? So if we do that again, Milo, let's just hit two shots here. One again, go ahead and show stock. Okay. So I'm just going to hit a stock. So we're going stock again. So stock energy in the ribs is what we're focused on here. Beautiful. That was hit so good, by the way. <laughs> okay, so now let's go with this. And this is more or less the picture. That once you get into this like fully loaded position here, the angle that I have from this trail forearm and the shaft, mm -hmm. I'm going to maintain that because of a slow rate of rotation in the ribs. So now when I do that slowly, I've got way more lean in the shaft than I would if this is rotating with a heck of a lot more speed or energy, throw. and it throws all the energy out through the arms through the golf club again. Okay, so, so that's the picture is the once you go into this loaded phase, you're maintain that's it. So the rate of rotation in the ribs is chilled. Beautiful. So now we got the trage down probably, what would you say, three, four degrees? Uh, at least that much. At least that much. And that translated into like actual height. The first one is probably up at like 90, mm -hmm. maybe 95. And that one looks just eye test like 70. Yeah. That's substantial. It's a lot lower. Exactly. Sure. So, and I think this is like, when we talk about control on the golf ball, it's far more important to be able to control your trajectory rather than the curvature that the golf ball has. Like you don't need to hit a draw and a cut. You need to be able to hit these windows. You need to be able to hit high, low, and just hit your stock shot. Exactly, with all be. those different yeah. trajectories. Sweet. Trage control, baby. A lot that goes into it. We have a few variables. We can change ball position both back and away from our, or closer to ourselves. Yep. And then we can vary how much energy input we put into it. Yep. And that can vary the, the trajectory and the spin. Exactly, exactly. Awesome. What's really nice is you can do a lot of that before you even start swinging. So the only thing that you're really doing is just managing energy, mm -hmm. right? So if I get like, and, and what's cool too, is if you add all of these different layers on top of it. So if I go center of mass above, ball position back, more golf club, now I can really flatten can hit one a little out. Low so let, let's hit one like that. This is like stinger central now, right? So center so, of mass above. So I'm going to move close, ball back, and yeah. smooth rate of rotation energy. so you can hold the load. And that golf ball came out at like eight degrees. <laughs> nice little low <laughs> That's bullet. so cool. But what's also really cool with this is it actually makes your practice time engaging. Yeah. Because now you can actually hit different shots and you see it all the time. Every single person that goes to a driving range is just trying to hit this perfect, magical, perfect shot when there's endless amounts of shots to be had, and right? How often do you hit just the magical, perfect shot? How often do you have the exact club you're going to hit to a given shot? I mean, if I'm talking about my, my own personal game, driver, I'm hitting pretty much stock. I got like two again. shots, right? I have mm -hmm. like stock and then some amount of like squeeze cut, depending mm -hmm. on how nervous I am or how, you know, it just calls for it sometimes. Tight fairway, wind conditions, whatever. But then you, every single time when you go out and play, you're always presented with wind into, balls below your feet, all these different conditions. And you better be able to understand how to manage how far you're going to throw that golf ball. Yeah, for sure. And different pin locations, that. ball pin in the back of the green, yeah. trouble behind it. You don't want to fly it all the way back there. You want to bounce it in. Exactly. Just that, that's what makes, that's what takes somebody from a good player to a great player really quick is yeah. their ability to control it because now you're controlling your golf ball at a really high level. For sure. So yeah, just talked about trajectory control. Um, super important again, just to review. Uh, center of mass closer, ball position back. These are all like for lower, lower launching. If you want to hit it higher, you're just doing the opposite of this, but center of mass closer, ball gets back, energy level gets lower. Obviously you can, you can change your club just depending on what type of trage or, or window you want to throw it to or throw it through. But that gives you the opportunity at least to actually hit quality shots in all conditions and control your golf ball at a really high level. Awesome. Milo, again, thanks so much for everything, man. That was a blast thanks for talking about we, we had a good time. Hopefully you guys like this as well. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, 
Come visit the guys at Elite. Riley and his crew are awesome coaches with great information. Also, come visit us at milolinesgolf.com where we can help you learn how to swing like an athlete.